Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to embed a code in Webflow in 2024. So today we're exploring the process of embedding code snips into Webflow, allowing you to integrate custom functionality and third-party services into your website. Whether you're adding analytics, tracking codes, embedding widgets, or implementing custom scripts, stick around as I guide you through the steps of embedding codes in Webflow in 2024. So Let's unlock your full potential and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and access your Webflow account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section at the top left corner and type Webflow dot com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen main screen if it's your first time you'll be taken to this page and here's an example if you have an account just click in here and click on login to login into your account and if you don't have an account click get started it's free to create a new account for your own of course you can log in into your account or even create an account sorry using google if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account and if you're interested about pricing first of all here is it. You can pause the video and read, so I read it all by your own. Here, this is yearly and this is monthly. E-commerce also, if you're interested about it. And yeah, of course, if you don't know nothing about Webflow, you can simply here and their home screen to scroll down a bit, uh, read more information about this website and familiarize yourself with it a bit. Now, once you logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on your dashboard right here. So first of all, you'll have to go and access the Webflow designer of a website that you already have. Why? To embed, of course, a code in Webflow, as we said in the beginning of this video. So if you don't have a website yet, you can simply go and click on Add a New Site or Plus New Site. And here, just go and click on that. And here, you'll find all the templates that they are given. We have the blank one, uh, simple ones, which is free. We have here paid if you want to pay for some of them. And we have here some other free ones. My plan will require me just to have two sites per the moment. So... I'll not be able to add a new one, but for you, make sure to go and choose the one that suits your needs. Of course, you can click here and view all the free one and choose whatever you want. Just go and click on it and start making your edits on the template until it match your needs and your style. Now, of course, for me, I'll just go and open the designer of some design that I have in here or some website that I have in here. For you, make sure to do the same and access the Webflow designer of your website by simply clicking on that website. And of course, within the Webflow Designer, you can select the page or the element where you want to embed the code. As an example, I'll just go here to uh, this preview option. And let's say as an example, I don't know, where should we add this? Maybe in this integrations on all pages. Let's say, or integrations in here. I don't know. Make sure to go and see wherever you want to add it. As an example, I don't know, let's just maybe this page or whatever. I'll just go back. Oh, I quit the designer. Sorry, my bad. I'll just go back on it. And for you, of course, you will have to select or the page or element that you want to embed the code on it. If you don't want to, or sorry, I'll just go back. Sorry again. I'll just go to this uh, page or to this website, other website, because I have it blank. I have two images in there. It will be easy for you to follow. Let me just go in here, delete those images. I don't need them anymore. So now just go and select the page or even add a new page. Click on create a new page, give it a name, give it a slug, give it all the information that you need and click on create to create the new page. As an example, for me, I'll just start or keep on playing or here adding my code in the home page. So what you'll need to do is simply choose for you the page that you want to add the code on it and insert in the code snips. How can you do that? Just simply go and click on the plus button in here. And on this list panel, as you can see, you'll find here structure, basic, typography, CMS, media, and forms. So as you can see in these forms, you'll find the file upload if you want to upload the file. We don't want that. But as you can see, I cannot even add that. Why? Because I need to upgrade my plan. If I click in here, they will show me that I will not be able to use it unless i upgrade my plan of course as you can see this is the most popular but this one as you can see the basic uh, basic sites 150 pages zero cms item and i don't know 
and I don't think it even has the code option. So of course, not the file upload, we're looking at the advanced, which is the embed, because we want to add uh, embed the code. And as you can see, I will not be able to embed a code on my Webflow websites. Why? Because I'm on the free plan. If you are on the starter plan or on the free plan, you will not be able to embed any code that you want, as you can see in here. So you will not be able to embed it whenever, whatever you want. Of course, you have other options. You can embed or add this code block, as you can see. And simply, you'll be able to paste some code to display it on your site. You'll not be able to embed it. It's This is just for display. So as example, uh, I'll just type here example. Oh, this is not how you write example. So example of, I don't know, HTML code as example. Why not? And let's just go here. Okay, let's just take this one, click on copy, remove those, go back here, paste this in here, and click on save and close. As you can see, this will not embed the code on your website, but it will simply show it in a good way as like you write HTML with the colors and everything. So just keep that in mind. But for you, if you already have a plan, click on the plus button, scroll down to the advanced option, and click on embed and drag, drag it here on your websites once you drag it out simply insert your code in there and you can even configure the code placement if your code snips require specific placement or execution timing you can configure these settings in the custom code panel some scripts may need to be placed in the header uh, for initialization as example while others can be placed in the body for execution after page content loads and before even publishing your changes, it's crucial to test the embed code to ensure it's functional as intended. For your site and Webflow Designer, as an example, from this top right option, click on this toggle preview, and you'll be able to preview it from desktop, tablet, landscape, and even portrait phone. And make sure to test your code or embed code if it's working. As I said before, this is just for display, so nothing to test in here. And now you can publish your changes once you're satisfied. You can publish on the, the domain that they give you or simply on a custom domain if you already have one, just go and add it. And there you have it. You successfully learned how to embed a code snipped to the Webflow in 2024 with the ability to integrate custom functionality or custom code functionality and third party services. You can enhance your website's capabilities and provide a richer user experience. So if you already have a question, or the specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video.